This is Larry. It's Sunday, February 21st, and uh, I'm just at my shop and came across this uh, soda bottle. I've never heard of it before, but it was uh, bottled in Fort Lauderdale. It's called Flavette. And I thought maybe may bring back some memories. I just put a couple of other bottles on the shelf here. I do not, I do not collect soda bottles, but I just happen to have a bunch of them. Cheer wine. That's produced locally here. It's a cherry cola. There is no wine in it. I was disappointed in that. Royal Crown. There's another Royal Crown bottle there. Now there was a plant off 95 in Miami. Stapleton. That's a bottle in New York. The Pop Shop. That was, came out in the 1970s. Very short-lived soda. A couple of 7 Up bottles, Sprite, Dale Earnhardt, Sundrop, which is also bought locally here in North Carolina. New Grape. That's a Big Bill bottle. It's also, they bottle uh, Big Boys, the old hamburger joints, and bottle their soda. These three bottles here are actually from the 1920s. That's an Orange Crush bottle there. And it's a Knee High. These are very heavy bottles. Here's another bottle by Knee High. Party pack. Very rare bottle there. Brownie. That was very popular here years back. It was a, like a Yoohoo. It's a chocolate drink. Get on down to the Coke items. And here's some of the Pepsis. Of course, Pepsi was founded in North Carolina. That's an old AM radio. There, and that can looking. And remember the Looney Tune glasses? Hardy's used to give those out in the 70s when you bought a Pepsi. Some of these bottles are very rare. This one here is actually a South Carolina Pepsi bottle. It says, not for sale. I imagine from the 20s where the syrup was sent to the pharmacies to make at the soda counters. And Richard Petty has a series of Pepsi bottles. He's here in North Carolina. He lives about 30 miles from me. And well, anyway, if you like the video and like to see other old stuff, Please leave a comment and I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you.